with you. Three words. Wall, why, well. Power, control and advancement. Have you ever had to steal condiments from McDonald's? Imagine your dad or mom comes into your room and tells you, come on, pack up, we're leaving the country in the next few days. Throughout history, there have been many groups of names that hold this power to them, where just hearing them will invoke some kind of indescribable feeling, as if hearing the names will make the listener think in an instant, fame. Once upon a time, I wanted to be like those girls. To give or not to give. Imagine if you were in a position where you were being treated a particular way for something you could not control. I want you to ask yourself how many of the decisions you've ever made were based off of the opinions of other people. Exams, the stress of exams. Raise your hand if you believe exams are not fit for everyone. The year is 1906 and you're a woman walking through the streets of London watching the men cast their votes. But in the eyes of the government, you don't matter. Many of you may be wondering, how can I escape the chains of society? How do I free myself from the burdens of their cruel words and liberate myself? asking you to empty out your pockets and invite the next homeless person you see into your house. But what I beg you, I implore you, I urge you, the next time you want to make a comment on a situation, ask yourselves, am I educated enough about this to make an appropriate comment? Now take a moment to think about what makes you the individual that you are. Who do you want me to see you as? Because I know who I am. That's me, Maribel, the black bird, with the best nutless braids and the best jello friends. Now do the same and find that pride within yourself. It made a shock to me when Hillary Clinton famously delivered her speech in 1997 on feminism and less than 30% of our audience were males. And I think to myself, how can we all succeed when half of us aren't even prepared to listen? How can we all succeed when half of us are being held back? If not me, who? If not now, when? We need to move. But we need to move together so that we can be heard. Black is all I know and there ain't a thing that I will change in it. Would you want your family members or friends to be misled or manipulated by this news? Because by ensuring that we stay educated, especially on the issues in society, we can get rid of the stigma. We can all agree what a powerful group they were and what a force they were to be reckoned with in the wider world. That they were more than just their music. Education is freedom. A privilege which most of us have under with, and its importance has no measure. Thank you. Just remember, if all fairy tales had the same plot, wouldn't life be boring? So, finally, I just want to leave you with this. To give or not to give. Do not condone racism, and do not teach it. Let's make the world a better place. Change will come depending on who you surround yourself with. Whether it's good or bad, it's up to you. Like they say, work smart and not harder. And in the wise words of Malala Yousafzai, I don't raise my voice to shout. Rather, I raise my voice so those without one can be heard. I am gifted with the strength of my destiny. This is what I feel pride in. This is my self-worth. What's yours? And new opportunities like this one. And I hope I keep doing so.